Hey, how's a 276 here for uh, Borderline Tactical? I'm uh, doing this video here. Um, I have uh, had a request to uh, see the point of view of a vehicle being dropped out the arse end of one of these uh, blackfishes. The, uh, so what I'll do, I'm going to do uh, a couple of couple of drops. I'll do one, a uh, the skid loading, or the skid um, drop, uh, come down the runway here and dump out in the runway and yeah, see what that's like. Uh, I'm assuming that's exactly what they're looking for. Uh, the other type will just do a quick parachute one and uh, we'll speed through that one if uh, need be. And then uh, afterwards I'll um, go through all the RHS um, vehicles which can fit in the V44 here. Uh, so I've got uh, RHS here, I've got the US Forces, the uh, Russian and the new GREF uh, mod for RHS, so I'll take you through which RH RHS vehicles fit in. Alright, let's uh, get into it. Right, I'm loaded in. So uh, here I am in the uh, back of the Blackfish here, uh, I've used the Prowler because it's got uh, great visibility pretty much all around. Um, you can see here I've got shadows, shadows moving across the, uh, the dash here, even though I'm, there's no skylights in this thing. Uh, moving along here. I, uh, I've got uh, Kurt, another member of VTAC here, uh, he's my pilot for today, say hello Kurt. Hello, Kurt. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so he's going to give this a try. It's his first time, so I uh, won't laugh too hard when he uh, stuffs it up. I feel like kind of crashing there just to prove the point. <laughs> That's what I thought. This will be the skid drop, the prowler, and it just drops straight down. It uh, literally not carry any momentum. That's what it looks like. Next we'll look at this angle and watch it being dropped out from the outside. That one Kurt. There we go, we just had a poop on the runway. And this is what it's like with a parachute. This one's still close to the ground. Uh, just like the on the ground drop, it just insta stops. Right, here we go in uh, MV7 Marshall, or as uh, Ace renamed it, uh, Badger. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, boy. That's a shit. How's that for landing? That was awesome. Did yeah, I get a slide on? Oh yeah. Nice. That's how. That's what it looks like when you get dumped out the back of a plane. From um, 100 meters. Our shoot drop. In three, two, one. Whoa! Stuck in the hatch. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, looking out. There we go, my head's stuck in the hatch. Beautiful. And touchdown. And my head's back out of the hatch. Woo there you go. That's what it's like uh, being dropped off. Alright, now last we will take you through the, uh, the vehicles which, uh, the RHS mod vehicles which can fit into these uh, blackfishes. I'll start with the uh, Russian and the, the Gref side first. Um, you can fit two, two of these UASs, the smaller ones in there, no worries. Uh, that's all though. Uh, you got the, the Gaz here, um, most of the variants fit in, I believe all the variants fit in, so. Um, yep. uh, you got the BM-21 here, the uh, rocket pod launcher truck, that bad boy will fit in there too, so if you want some uh, rockets deployed on the battlefield here. Uh, you got the armoured gas, the modern gas here, 
Uh, only one of those will fit. So again, same as last time. Only I've put if it's the same vehicle twice, it's how many can fit in there. Uh, all the other ones, all pretty much all the RHS vehicles, it's only one of every vehicle type, except maybe the smaller ones. Um, so you've also got the, the BTR 80 here. Uh, all the BTR family fit in, but only one of them, obviously. And you got the BRDM, uh, only one of those fits in. The BMD, the BMPs won't fit, but the BMDs will. It's uh, one of the few tracked vehicles which uh, you can put onto the uh, V44. And last, you got the uh, big girl uh, from the Russian and uh, Green Forces side. So, Gref on the RHS Gref is uh, Green Forces. Um, so, for US Forces side, uh, you can fit two Humvees here. I've got two variants, but essentially, two Humvees of any variant can fit into one of these. Uh, the M113, there you go, that's a, the other tracked vehicle which will fit in there. And you got this uh, funny duck looking thing, it's uh, the M1117, so that'll fit. Uh, with these trucks here, uh, the, you got the M107 and M108, uh, only one of the, each of those will fit. I've put two of them because one's a single rear axle model, one's a dual rear axle model. But yeah, only one one of those and lastly is your RG33 uh, only one of those per Blackfish now for the uh, Xi'an, 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 I think it's um, I've seen something recently that uh, actual pronunciation of the uh, XIAN uh, VTOL model is actually uh, Xi'an, Xi'an or something like that um, yeah if you know let me know in the comments um, but yeah this one's uh, rather disappointing on the RHS front because pretty much all you can fit into it is one UAS small type that's it that's all you can fit out of all the RHS vehicles that I could uh, that I tried fitting to the back of the Chian uh, that's, that's all I could fit in that's it just one of them so yeah I wouldn't worry about uh, the Chinese bringing too many vehicles. Uh, I'd be more worried about the VTOL. Anyway, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see something else, uh, just uh, hit me up. I'm um, happy to take requests of uh, any questions you have. Thanks for watching. little mouse wheel uh, action menu unload all vehicles <laughs> oh, I blew up you blew up we both blew up oh that's a bad spot to me uh yeah just hover there if you can <laughs> I mean, yeah, go. That actually injured me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tried inserting to the rear end too hard. Yeah. It injured your ass. Yeah. Normally it can take it. <laughs> well seasoned and all. In three, two, one. into the hatch g-forces the g-forces right, let's see how this lands a tree going through the foliage oh. um, yeah I think it just dropped me the last bit popped uh, my rear tires <laughs>